as we near the next general election. Now, to respond to your question, uh, first of all, these are not suspected terrorists. These are people who are serving jail terms, and therefore they are convicts. These are people who had already been sentenced, right? So they were terrorists yeah. serving various terms. And uh, it's sad to say that the most guarded committee, that you'll have people breaking out of committee, terrorists in the first place, these are serious offenders getting out. So it, could it be that we only know of the prison break because there were terrorists and, and uh, probably this is what has been happening. How many more people have been able to get out of that place? Yeah, because probably these ones came to the limelight because they were terrorists. And to say that they've been arrested, it's a good move by our police officers. But then should we be getting to that extent for us to work? Must the government or those responsible be risking the lives of the citizens of this republic? Yes. To that extent, so that they can be seen to be working. Must people, people be sacked? Must people be failing their oversight role for us to see that they are working? It's so, so unfortunate that we are having to discuss that the most guarded uh, prison facility in this country could allow three people without having uh, being noticed. And if anything, it's not the police who arrested them. It is the public. So we let us give credit where it's due. It is the people of yeah. Kitui that noticed these individuals. From the look of things, the government remained clueless. Probably they were in Nairobi. Only for them to be arrested, and then we are seeing headless that the uh, CS Defense Interior and Coordination is going to receive them at committee. It is so unfortunate that the people who are eating our taxpayers' money to protect us, to keep these people in custody, could fail on their oversight role to allow us, the public. And this is not the first time I'm doing this. I'm saying this. I said this statement when we were talking about the. Uh, bandage attacks in Baragoy and uh, the South Pokot. And I yeah, say, sure. pay the government, uh, we pay taxes, we pay police officers, but you are relying on the public, the very people you are taxing to death, to give information on the terrorists who have uh, escaped from prison. It's so unfortunate. And it was a failure from the side of government. We don't we not only need to fire the head of uh, committee prison, we need to fire from the intelligence, NIS, to interior and coordination of PS, to PS Kibicho, before we can come to the person at, because the Vile Wasailian Asema Samaki was a Kwanze Kichwani. So it's so important. But luckily, Kenyans are vigilant in as much as there is nothing to make us, uh, to motivate Kenyans, at least they acted, and these people are taken back to committee where they belong. Thank you. Thank you very much for your comments. They have been taken back to the exact place where they belong. And uh, I, I, I really I really hope, Chip Koech, you can get us now. Good evening, Chip Koech. Good evening, Cedric. How are you? Fine, thank you. Thank you very much for joining us. And let me let you in, into this discussion that we are having tonight. The prison's boss has been fired. And uh, the, uh, the terrorists, because they have been convicted, we have just received the right term from our good lawyer, uh, they have been arrested finally. Do you think that uh, at that speed, the government is working as it ought to be? And uh, does that confirm that we are safe as Kenyans? Uh, <laughs> Cedric, it is very funny because... Uh, our government has become somehow reactive. We are not proactive. We wait for yes. things to happen and then we react. That is one. Number two, <laughs> what has happened today is because there was also an uproar from Kenyans. Remember that. And rightfully so, because we saw what happened in Uganda two days ago. So Kenyans were concerned. So what has happened? Also, let us stop lying to each other. Nikaba Saile Tulukwa Shule, Deputy Principal Akipita in the in your class, what used to happen? All of you pretend like you're reading. So, I mean, really, it's, it's, it's very funny because this, this country is founded on the rule of law. But if there is one thing the current government has decided they don't even care about, is the rule of law. Yes. And the respect of our institutions. 
we have among the best policies in this country. We have among the best brains in this country. But is there a good way? There is none. And so when things happen, all of a sudden, everybody wants to look like they are working. I mean, how did they get away in the first place? Where were the loopholes? Well, you're, you're asking very pertinent questions there. And uh, I think the, those are the exact questions that are supposed to be answered. And you've said there that the government is being proactive. They are just reacting to things that have happened, meaning there are no plans in place to prevent such things from happening, like prison breaks. And uh, Tiberias uh, hey, coming to us all the way from Hungary. Thank you very much for joining us. And let me just bring you into this conversation uh, do you think that Kenyans back at home are secure if at all terrorists can break out of a prison in as much as they have been put back where they really belong? Thank you, Cedric. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Proceed. Okay, thank you. According to me, it is just the movie, <laughs> The Prison Break. It is just a whole choreographed movie, The Prison Break. There are things um, I, I don't understand from the baseline. How prisoners can break and specific prisoners. You see, I don't know the findings, but uh, if I'm convinced they were in one cube within the cell or within the prison, that is okay. The three of them escaped. But if they were amongst others, some questions are still unanswered. There's something the government is not telling us. Let's just be logical. These people disappear. You promise someone 60 million that whoever will bring us these people will give this person 60 million. It's after that is when the Kinuti and the team rushes to committee for ev evidential proof of what happened. The next day, <laughs> you saw Kogalo, the boss of uh, the, the head of prisons, immediately is replaced. And then the next day, they are found. Who is fooling who? The, I, I don't even know what to comment, but because uh, I'm, the, I'm, I'm the Kenyan, I, I know I am, I have no powers to question the government. The government is doing its thing. It is well choreographed. And uh, they have managed and they are winning, you see. They want to create an image. There's something coming beyond what we know. And they are creating a drama to confuse, to keep us busy, you see. They're just yes. keeping us busy. There's something more than that. Literally, you, 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 you see the walls of committee. You can't just come and boom, you are down. People have tried, people have died. You see, and I'm telling you, you see the likes of uh, Commissioner Ogalo who are sacked. Tomorrow they are in another post. That one, no. So there's, there's, a, there's something being choreographed. We are reading the script, but we are not understanding the script. That is according to me. I've been trying to follow and under, try and understand this thing. It, it is not adding up, according to me, literally. It's not adding up. It's not at all. Even if I was a lawyer like Nelson, if I go to the court, I'll lie more. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, according to you, this is a whole movie with a script is, which you is, cannot even is, comprehend. It is a whole movie. And then you find these people after Uganda yeah. is, is, is bombed. How? There's some, something something has been timed to take place, you see? Or some money yeah. is being stolen somewhere the way we know <laughs> Kenya. <laughs> <laughs> this is just to create attention and to do everything and everything. At first, it was one of them who disappeared. You remember when the lawyer disappeared as well? Who, yeah. The lawyer plus the prisoner who was uh, released. After that, what happened? Others broke from the committee prison and they disappeared. Now they are back. Is that uh, did the fellow who found or reported them to the DCI or whatever, did, was he given this?